In this video, I'll be discussing shear stress. I'm going to call it example one, but really it's just a basic introduction to where shear stress is and just kind of give us a, a level of intuition. Um, I drove, the, drove this little box down here to kind of give us a basic concept of what shear stress is. Um, realize that in our axial stress, these forces would be acting directly on one another. So if we had a box, they would be acting in the same plane. Whereas you'll notice just to the right here that they're acting almost like side by side. You know, one's on this side and another's over here. So along this A axis right here, you have shear stress. Now shear stress isn't so much different than axial stress in that it utilizes the same function. Shear equals force over area. So we shouldn't need too many examples of this to kind of get a good grasp of this concept. But a good example would be my poorly drawn door with an exaggerated gap. And uh, I drew the gap just so that we could see that there was basically the only thing stopping it was this bolt that's sticking from the door to the wall. In this exposed portion right here, that's where we're going to be focusing on. Uh, shear stress does happen throughout the bolt, but uh, you'll, you'll learn about you know distributed loads and things like that in a later video. So we're just talking about that exposed part between the door and the wall. Now if we apply a force to this door, just call it whatever force you want. In this example I say 75 pounds. But uh, it could be anything you want. Uh, really we want it to be as close as possible to here. Um, and don't start thinking about moments and such like that. I, I'm just trying to get to the concept that um, we're trying to get this shearing action between the door and the wall. So anyway, uh, it, using that equation above, it should be fairly simple that shear is equal to force over area. I've already given us the area here because we all know how to calculate area. So I'm just going to calculate it out. It's 75 pounds over 1.5 inches squared, and that equals 50 PSI. And that's pounds per square inch. So nothing too complex, nothing uh, overwhelming. The, the topic's really basic but I just wanted us to really understand that how similar yet different shear and axial stress are. Um, the calculation is identical. You just have to get a concept, uh, almost an intuition of when one will occur opposed to the other. And then um, later on in videos I'll show you when in what cases both can occur and you'd be surprised how often uh, both need to be taken in consideration when doing calculations. See you in the next video.